Hello guys, we are back, we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program, episode 2, and I'm showing off my X-15 jet. Now as you can see, it doesn't look like an X-15 right now, but when you take away these engines, these these side parts, it is an X-15. It's just the colour that doesn't match. Alright, um, now I can show you guys how to actually place the engines in this sort of manner. You basically get your engine, whatever you, your fuselage, select it. Right, you make sure snap to angles is on. Right, but you can put it anywhere you want. You hold down shift and click the D, W, A or S keys. Right, and you can change it to whatever angle you want. Now you don't have to hold down shift, you can just click S, D, W, S and then um, left click it to place it down and that would actually work. Now when you're doing this you should have it both 100% on the same angle because if you have it on different angles it's, it's a major problem when lifting up you would most likely crash and die and whoever your Kerbal character is would not be happy. Alright, um, let's start this thing up. Now I have done many tests, so yeah, it's almost flawless. I'll show you guys the main disadvantage of this. Okay, uh, T. I'll just go, not full throttle, just a bit. Spacebar. Now we should catch on some speed. Slowly, slowly. That's it, full throttle. And we're lifting up. Because gently we just lift up. Um, G to retract these uh, wheels. We're going good. Perfectly straight. We're going high a bit slowly. What I'll do is I change the angle. And con the control is not bad. With landing is a bit of an issue. I have practiced that. But I can never get it done successfully. So when we get high enough in altitude, um, I will eject these engines, right, then this back engine, the um, aerospike rocket, will actually activate and it should take us down out, out to space. So we have one, two, three, four. We have uh, four fuselages full of energy, full of uh, fuel. It should take us pretty far and fast. Now the X-15 is known to be to go pretty fast. Uh, it's one of the most fastest rockets. Uh, I couldn't get a normal jet engine because that's just too slow. So aerospike rocket would do. And if I had just normal rocket fuselages, that would have been wasted in an instant. So I had to put um, jet fuel, rocket fuel. So yeah. I've got some supporting structures here hold it together, otherwise this thing will just flap around. Uh, this this part here just holds it together. We are pretty high up in altitude. Uh, very soon I will eject these engines. Uh, this will eject too because the X-15 does not have fins right there. Uh, yeah, going pretty high up. Where are we in altitude? Not bad. We're going pretty high. We are slowing down, I think. Yeah, we should eject now. Alright. Nice. <laughs> now, what I was talking about before is the reason why this thing is not perfect is look, this back fin broke. The other one broke. Usually both break, but uh, this will have to do. <laughs> and it does go. It, it still successfully goes. So, I'm just trying to adjust this thing. Yeah, it's not easy. Th this stuff here was left over of the supporting structures. For some, reason, for some reason it just remained there. We're going almost 800 meters per second. We have two, two fuel, full, full fuel tanks that uh, we could go through. This thing has a high consumption, 13.1 per second. As you can see it looks pretty nice from afar. Let's get a nice view. 
Oh, that was good. <laughs> Let's take away this. What? Oh. What was that? What did that just do? Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, we're still going. Alright, uh, let's try and get an orbit. Alright, let's flatten this thing out. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. Stay there. Alright. Good. Go down a bit. More. Excellent. Stay there. Yes. Nice. We in orbit? Almost. Almost there. Fuel's going. There, come on, a bit more. Alright, we need to adjust this thing a bit more. Whoa, shit. There, stay there. What the hell? Alright, we're going to the sun, guys. <laughs> yep, we're going to the sun. Alright, good enough. 3,600 meters per second. Beat that. This is fast. And... Wow, uh, Rona Kerman is going to be lost forever. Poor guy. You know what? Let's take him out. EVA. Oh, alright. Um, click R to activate the air thing. So I think Control takes you down. Shift takes you up. W, S, A, D keys actually I make you move forward, back, sideways. Now I'm trying to to get back in now. It's a nice view. Uh, control forward. Shift control shift. Get in. F F. Damn. I think we've got to be on the other side actually to get in. Let's do control F. Excellent. All right. Um. F the board. Nice. All right, we're getting somewhere. Now let's take a look around. What do we see? Got some bad textures here. It's because of my settings. Uh, I put everything onto low resolution. Otherwise, this thing would be a lag fest. And as a game, it's it is pretty good. Let me look how far you can zoom in, and it's pretty clear. Great detail. Rona looks happy. <laughs> And about these Kerbals, their last names are all Kerman. All Kerbin. Like, one race has one last name. I mean, that'd be messy. Not enough. Too many people. Unlimited amount. Plenty with the same names. Alright, guys. Um, let's see where we are at. Alright. We are leaving Earth. Oh, Kerbin forever. Now, when we get to this point, we will be going around the, the sun. Now, as you can see here, this is another X-15 that I tested out. This actually went to the sun as well. For some reason, I can never go around Kerbin successfully. It's just this thing's too fast. Or maybe this, that's just an excuse. I have no backup to actually take me back. So what I'll do is, I'll just fast forward this thing. Alright. Let's go a bit more faster than that. Whoa. Ooh, that's uh, Mun. Goodbye, Mun. So we are at now. Where are we going? I don't know why that's moving. Fast forward a bit more. Okay. Bang. Alright. Now we are orbiting the sun. And it doesn't have another name for it. Now our orbit is yeah, pretty large. Let's go around this area. So our per periapsis seems to be the most fastest point. So let's click M. Let me slow this down. Wow, we are going 7,852 meters per second. That's fast. Yeah, <laughs> Ron is not laughing anymore. Yeah, he's really upset. Poor guy. I mean, what's he going to eat? <laughs> okay, let's fast forward this thing a bit more. Uh, as soon as we get to this periapsis, 
I will show you guys the speed at, w at which we are at. Now this rocket, this X-15 here, would actually go super even faster than the one we, we're managing right now. This is bomb M2, no comment about that. I better slow down a bit. Right up to that point. Slow down. M. Wow. All right. Fourteen thousand seven hundred and seventy-six meters per second. This thing is bright. Wow. Yeah, this is nice. Now, what's F five do? Quick save. F four. Don't want to click F three. F two. All right. Yeah. F two takes away all the other crappy stuff. Now I'm just trying to see our home. Where is it? Where is Kerbin? I don't think I'll find it. Well, this looks pretty enough. I uh, hope I didn't blind you guys. Well, this is the end of the episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm sure Rona Kerman did with the 7, 2.7 G-Force. And...